we got into collecting very early, probably and in the 50s, later 1950s? Early 60s. Early 60s. Early 60s. We have no particular family background or particular rationale. Neither one of us had any art, direct personal artistic talent. In fact, we can do, almost do a checklist of things that might have led individuals to collect art, and we wouldn't probably be able to check any of them. And I'm going directly to the photography, because we did collect contemporary art for a long time. But in the mid-80s, we became attracted to photography. I brought home a photograph from the Art Rental Gallery in the Art Gallery of Ontario for Harry for Christmas. I can still remember it. It was a wonderful uh, Cartier-Bresson image. And I think that did uh, trigger our interest. We were also very aware that at that time, the artists were beginning to look at photography. And so thought it'd be appropriate for us to look at what went before the 1985's interest in photography by artists. Art has, has increasingly broken down the distance between the art product and, and, and life in the world. And photography was attractive because the act of photography perhaps more directly represents reality and actual life. It pictures what exists in the world. The interpretive factor in photography is less than it is with art where a person draws or paints. The photographers gave us insights into the nature of the world and of human relationships and nature, perhaps with an immediacy greater than art. One of the things we discovered when we started to become more familiar with photography is that it's a very diverse form of visual investigation. And we had a focus on looking for photographs that were basically fine art pho photographs. So it wasn't the subject matter that was of interest to us it was the quality of the photograph process and the printing process, the quality of the photograph. And the range of pictures that have been taken in the history of the world, only a small fraction of those pictures have been taken by individuals who approached it with an aesthetic seriousness. And those persons has been our niche we have attempted to collect really the best photographs by the best photographers. But in terms of the future, there's a lot of work still to be done. We've worked hard to put together a history of photography, but we have not finished the job. There are more very important pieces to be brought to Canada, particularly to Toronto.